Al Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Good morning, I'm Professor Coe and this is the Forex Supermodel Daily Briefing for Tuesday the 6th of the 4th 2021. The time has just gone 0500 GMT. Asian session coming to a close. European session firing up. Our lunchtime North American US session. Right. Yesterday, Monday the 5th then, we had an unopposed negative driver in the dollar. So no backdoor flows. Uh, the opposing positive flows were going predominantly into the pound at plus 81, euro plus 59 and the yen was the positive rock at plus seven, activity plus or minus 147. Over the week then, intra weeks, that's from Monday opening to about 15 minutes ago, uh, we have, we've got a, a negative opposed driver in the dollar at minus 134, so we've got front and back door flows this time, uh, mainly going into the pound at plus 92, into the euro at plus 67, and the yen was the uh, negative rock at minus 25. Activity plus or minus 159. Intraday then, so this is the Asian session to about 15 minutes ago. Uh, we've got a negative opposed driver in the yen, minus 46. Front and back door flows, mainly going into the dollar plus 36. Into the euro plus 11 and the pound is the negative rock at minus 1. Activity plus or minus 47. Right, what's going to knock this about then? Well, uh, yesterday we had a uh, positive PMI... Uh, for the US. Uh, today we've got China's uh, PMI services uh, which have been positive, uh, a rising activity, uh, a good figure for the and uh, strong for the in terms of the last three months. So the, the China uh, data cycle continues on the positive. Um, we've got the RBA, uh, Royal Bank of Australia rates decision in, in about 30 minutes time. So uh, bear that in mind. And uh, um, Wednesday, tomorrow, we've got the uh, FOMC Fed Minutes uh, later on. Uh, Thursday, we've got the Fed's Powell speech later on again. And Friday, we've got China CPI and CAD unemployment rate and employment change data. Right, so let's, uh, let's write this, uh, have a look what's been going on in the flows then. So uh, our trades have improved off, uh, off the back of uh, the, the flows recently. We're about 1,600 again in profit overall uh, from a peak of 2,900. So uh, we'll see where we go later on after the RBA. Right, so, so the Euro then, and this is the full Euro complex, the seven FX pairs. The Euro is strong except against the dollar which is stronger at the moment. The yen uh, is weak across the board. The pound is strong, uh, except against the dollar and the euro. Um, the Swiss, the Swiss is weak, except against the yen, which is weaker. The CAD, the CAD is strong, uh, except against the dollar, the euro, and the pound. The AUD is weak, except against uh, the yen and the Swiss. Uh, the NZD uh, is weak. except against the AUD, the dollar, and the CAD. And the, and the dollar is strong across the board at the moment. Right, so, so what have we got? Uh, we've got yen weakness, we've got dollar strength, uh, running into this uh, um, 
AUD uh, RBA uh, rates uh, decision um, and the flows are take the pick in the middle so um, but I wouldn't pay too much attention to these short term flows uh, particularly as we're running into uh, uh, quite a major rates decision in, in about 20 minutes time so uh, let's, let's look at the asset flows uh, the asset classes then so we've got the US dollar index uh, basically, um, basically it broke the high, and it's broke the next high, and it's come back, and it's 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 sort of operating about there. Gold, gold doesn't really like a strong dollar, as you know, uh, but it has come back, and it's about 0.25 uh, from our model floor. Oil. Uh, Oil's come off basically, uh, it's about 0.3 from the high. Oil's not really got going again after the, the OPEC meeting, uh, but it probably will. Uh, Wall Street, uh, right, Wall, Wall Street's had this, it's broken the high, it's come back and it's broken the next high and it's just come back a tad there. So uh, S&P, S&P arguably similar, but um, it's punching a bit higher. Uh, so the S&P is is stronger, if you like, in relative terms. The tech, the tech never really made it. It's operating sub previous high. Remember with the tech that the tech was pumped uh, at the end of last year, 2020. And so in relative terms, these probably aren't much different. It's just a case of rebalancing. Right, uh, what have we got? The US 10-year on the bond. Uh, basically looks uh, something like this. Um, it's about 0.1 off the floor. So the yields are still relatively strong. The bond, which is the European uh, version effectively, looks something like this, uh, it's about 0.42 from the floor. Uh, so relatively speaking, yet again, uh, US yields are stronger than European yields at the moment. Right, copper. Copper is sounding one, two, three, four, five, pretty much like a broken record. Went back to um, the second pump, went back to base camp, messed about, and it's now uh, operating at the second pump again. So that that position is uh, is dominant at the moment. U.S. Steel. Uh, uh, they sold it off at the double top. Um, it came back. It broke the high, and it's now back at the double top. So uh, we're in a sort of pause uh, position really for U.S. Steel. Uh, they're waiting to see what's going to happen. Right, so let's get rid of this and make some final conclusions. Uh, like I say, our trades have, uh, have come back a bit, but, but they, they're not really firing yet. Um, there's always something, isn't there? But basically, uh, we're looking at uh, the RBA and the Fed uh, minutes. Um, right, so we're, we're short. Uh, USD against the uh, euro, the pound, and the AUD, and we're short NZD against euro, pound, CAD, and AUD. So, like we say, the CAD's the only difference there between between the two, really. Um, right. So, what do we? Well. For, for this macro, you can just feel this macro environment building now. Um, the, the, uh, the growth is sort of like trying to punch through, particularly from China. It's going to feed into commodities and the AUD. And in order to do this, uh, the, the dollar, you need a soft dollar environment. So uh, you're likely to see a soft dollar environment going forward. That's going to inflate oil, uh, gold's going to come back, all the, sh the whole shebang, commodity currencies, uh, and uh, our position should 
should finally take off. So uh, hope that was useful. Watch out for the RBA, uh, uh, which you'll know by the time you watch this. Um, uh, good luck with your trades and uh, thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow for the daily briefing.